Welcome to the March Madness Minute number three. Today we're going to further personalize Chrome by adding a few more extensions. A few things you might want to know. Your bookmarks will sync to mobile devices like a phone or tablet. Your themes and extensions will not sync. Those do need a full version of Chrome to run. Have fun exploring the extensions, but just be aware if you add a lot of extensions, it is start going to start to slow your system down as it's a lot to boot up. And as you acquire a lot of extensions, be aware you can right click to remove an extension from Chrome or go to manage to see which ones you have running in the background as well. So we're going to look at adding an extension. So I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store and I'm going to start by looking at Screencastify. And this is the extension that I've been using to record these videos. It might be a little hard to see it up here. It looks a little like a film strip. And when I click on it, I could start recording, although I'm already recording. And it's going to give you some options if you want to record yourself talking. So you can see yourself if you have a webcam. You can record what's going on on your desktop. You can. There's an option to see yourself in the bottom corner as you're recording what's happening on your screen. And if you go to options, you can choose where you save it. And if you save it to Google Drive, be aware that you have unlimited storage with Google Drive this year. And that's true for all staff and all students. Um, you can also see your previous recordings. I can't do that since I am recording, but if you look at your previous recordings, you can upload those directly from Screencastify to YouTube. Um, so I've seen fifth graders use this with Google Slides to record their voice over their presentations. Another extension that I would suggest looking at is Gubrick. And we're not going to go into it too much today because we're going to, you need to use it in tandem with something called Doctopus. But while we're in the Chrome Web Store adding extensions, I would suggest adding Gubrick. Gubrick is not going to show up with the rest of your extensions. It's going to show up right before the star is a little eyeball. And that's going to be true if you're in a document that would work with Gubrick. So why would you want to add this? Well, if you grade student work, Gubrick makes a rubric hover above the student work so that when you grade the student, you get a copy in a grade book, but the student also gets a copy of their rubric comments. And that could also include voice comments. So we'll look at this later, but if you add it now while we're in the Chrome Web Store. Uh, the final one I wanted to show is something called Draftback. And yesterday I said extensions show up after your URL bar. That's true much of the time. You'll see here Gubrick is showing up before the star because Gubrick would work on this page. Uh, today I also wanted to show you Draftback, and that shows up right here. If you're somebody that grades a lot of student work, um, if you're looking at writing, you can click on draft back and it will show you in hyperspeed how they worked their paper. If they worked from top to bottom, did they ever go back and revise? Did they paste large chunks of information from somewhere and kind of string those together? So it's a good way to analyze student writing or for students to analyze their own writing. So thanks for joining me today. We looked at managing our extensions. We added Screencastify, Gubrick, and took a look at Draftback, if that's something that works for you. Uh, so go ahead and explore all those extensions out there. If you find something that you love, please add it to the comments on YouTube so the rest of us can check it out as well. And then tomorrow, we'll start looking at some different ways to do formative assessment. Thank you.